Hey guys, today I'm showing you how I sew my own fitted cloth diapers out of pre-folds. I got a lot of requests to show how I made these in some of my newborn cloth diapering videos. Erin is now 10 months old and I'm finally getting around to filming this for you guys. I really, really hope you enjoy it. I'm definitely not a seamstress though, like at all. So this is super sloppy work. I don't know how to work a sewing machine super well, but I hope that at least gives you some kind of inspiration or helps you out in some way. First of all, I'm using a Green Mountain Diapers Cloth Ease brand size large pre-fold for today's diaper, and this fits my 35-ish pound toddler perfectly. Step number one is to cut the pre-fold. I'm cutting little flaps for the waist of the diaper. I'm measuring them to be two inches wide and I'm cutting them up until I get to about half an inch from the seam for where the center panel starts. Next, I add in the elastic for the legs. I'm creating a little casing for that elastic, making sure it's wide enough to fit the actual elastic piece into. I did have to redo this on this diaper in particular because I made it a tad too narrow. I then attach a safety pin to the elastic and use that safety pin as a guide to shimmy the elastic through the casing. It's pretty easy as long as you make that casing wide enough. Then I trim out the diaper. If you have a serger, you could actually make your diapers look really nice and neat, but I just use the zigzag stitch on my sewing machine, um, and I try to get that as close as possible to the edges of the diaper. I'm just sealing up those freshly cut sections. My diapers have all held up just fine using that zigzag stitch, but like I said, a serger would make it look nice and crisp. I try to pivot and add some extra stitching to that V when I reach the middle point there. I leave the inner flaps loose because I think it makes dry time a little bit faster. You could always like flip it inside out kind of and sew that up so that when you flip it the right way, um, the seam is hidden inside the diaper. Lastly are snaps. I use size 20 cam snaps that I got on eBay, super cheap. I just take another fitted diaper that I already own to line up those snaps about where to put them. You can also wrap it around your baby and make some marks so you know exactly where you're gonna need the snaps. Just make sure that you're making it a little bit smaller and a little bit bigger so you have some options as your baby grows. And that's it. Like I said, I'm totally not a seamstress, so this is definitely not an attractive looking diaper. I do hope you learned a little bit of something or gained some kind of knowledge from today's video. Please subscribe for more diaper, cloth diaper info if you guys are interested, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.